So sit down. You want to hear this story? You guys want to hear a story? It's about the wedding, kind of. I'll tell you about the crazy kind of a little bit. Ooh, Sammy! Ooh, ooh. Can I have one of those? What is that? Pizza. I got a little Okay, here, sit down. Listen to Jeffrey's story. So I work at. Uh, oh, I'm sitting down. There. I work at uh, uh, Pierce Williams Entertainment. Yeah. Which is like, like a small independent you production flight, company yeah? in California. You want to give it to us? And one day they're like, <clears throat> nobody, no, they got these tickets for a premiere at the uh, Los Angeles Film Festival. Thank you. And nobody wanted to go and the producer was busy. So he was like, Jeff, do you want to go to a premiere or whatever? I was like, yeah, sure, I'll go to a premiere. What is it? It's called How to Rob a Bank. It's like this little, you know, little movie that's just a little independent movie or something. And yeah. It was premiering at the LA Film Festival. This guy's first movie. So I full go. Length, full length or a short? Full length, And yeah. starring who? Come on. Well, I'll get there. Oh, okay. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I want to jump the gun. Uh -huh. So um, I go there and I pick up my my tickets from the associate producer. And I was like, I am i didn't say like I'm an assistant or whatever. I was like, I'm from Pierce Williams Entertainment. And they go, oh, all right. What's your, what's your name again? I was like, I'm Jeffrey George or whatever. They're like, Jeffrey George. I knew I heard that name somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I go. He's, he's going, oh, the, they're from Pierce Williams. Come and meet the director. Come and meet the producer. <laughs> so I'm meeting all these people, and I'm just like, you know, hanging back. Like, okay, I'll meet the director. <laughs> I don't get so, uh, so then it's like on the red carpet and everything, you know, it was L.A. crap. So, yeah. So a limousine pulls up. Who comes out? The star of the film, David Carradine. Yeah. Famous kung, kung fu, fu man right. <laughs> from the 70s. <laughs> so... So the producer goes, David, and the whole thing and everything. So they usher him inside, and the flash bulbs are going off. And, and they go, Jeff, do you want to meet David Carradine? Come on and meet David. He's, he's a good guy. Come on and meet David. So I go inside, and I meet David Carradine. And I go, it's a good, David, it's a good thing I, I'm here today because I have to leave for my sister's wedding tomorrow. I would have never gotten to meet you. And, uh, and he goes, well, tell your sister I say congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> And that was my David Carradine experience. They that ushered me inside. Know? They gave me front row balcony seat. Really? They thought I was like some hot new executive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and, you, and you milked it for all you could, huh? Well, I didn't. I just didn't say anything. <laughs> right, right. I just said I'm from Pierce Williams. You had to be mysterious, and yeah. these things will come to you. Yeah. So there you go. You didn't say anything. You didn't. You know. The, That's right. You didn't, you didn't lie. You didn't exactly. You didn't. Lie. <laughs> I didn't lie. I didn't. Oh. Yeah. Well, did you tell your uncle Larry that story? No. Because when he owned the Karate and Judo schools of America, uh -huh. that's when David Carradine was in those kung fu yeah, that's right. shows, and that was like I a, tell him. that was a big deal, man, uh -huh. back then. Oh well, yeah, you gotta make sure you tell yeah, him. I'll definitely tell him. He would he would get a kick out oh, of it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Well, that's the story. <laughs>